Thank you for coming to worship with us today here at our church. And it is time to receive our tithes and our offerings. So right now, I would like to just, oh, you got, oh, Barry, what? Oh, okay, I see. So it looks like you're ready. Uh, okay, so these, oh, these are your tithes and offerings. Oh, that's very nice of you to bring those. And hold it, it's, it's okay. Uh, is, what, what do you need? <laughs> what are you doing? Hold it. What are you doing? I, I, am I supposed to hold this? Are you shaking it off? Just... Okay, hold on here. Now just ah! hold on. Just... Okay, 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 okay. All right. What are you doing? I just I don't understand what what what's going on here. You you had to do what? You had to okay okay. So it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It says you're supposed to use a plunger in the Bible. <laughs> no, no, I know you're. Oh, okay. I'll take that. You'll take that. Okay. So you went ahead and oh, and where? Oh, Luke chapter six. Okay, in verse thirty-eight. All right, hold on here. Luke six thirty-eight says, "Give, and it will be given to you." No. Okay. Oh, there's more. Okay, a good measure, press down. <laughs> shaken together and running over. No, 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 no. It, it doesn't mean that you're supposed to take your offerings and push them down and shake them up and run them over. No, it says, it says, if you give, it'll be given to you. And then God gives back to you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Well, that means if you give a bunch, God is going to be gracious and give a bunch back to you. When you choose to bless God, he also blesses you. Okay? And so you don't need a, like a plunger for your offering. No, it's talking about that God is going to press down those blessings, shake them up, and pour them out on you as you are faithful to give your tithes and offerings. Does that make sense? It does make sense because it's right here in the Bible. All right, thanks, Barry.